Hey, it's James from the Northern Guitar Studio, and if you're struggling with bar chords, then today's lesson is the one for you, because I'm going to be giving you some really easy alternatives to every single major and minor bar chord. Let's get started. Bar chords are one of the most useful things that we have as guitar players. They allow us to play all the major chords and minor chords up and down the neck. They allow us to access chords that we couldn't otherwise play and unlock literally thousands of songs. But they are incredibly difficult to play because with your index finger, you're holding down three, sometimes even four strings and as a new guitar player, that can feel absolutely impossible. So that's why I wanted to just show you some easy ways that you can play the same chord shapes without having to bar down multiple strings. And just to help you out a little bit more, I'd love to give you my bar chord alternatives cheat sheet. This shows you a chord diagram for every single major and minor chord and doesn't use any bar chords at all. So you can download that from the link in the description and it will make an excellent companion to today's lesson. Before we dive into the alternatives to bar chords, let's for a moment just consider where bar chords actually come from. So bar chords are derived from open chords. Now an open chord is one like this, A minor. I'm sure you can probably already play it. And it's called an open chord because you've got an open fifth string and an open first string. And all a bar chord does is it just takes this shape here and moves it up the neck, okay? So let's say, for instance, that we move this up three frets. Well, that doesn't quite sound right, does it? And that's because we've still got that fifth string open and that first string open and this is where the bar comes in. So your index finger is holding down that fifth string and that first string, and that then allows you to play that A minor shape here at the third fret. So you can consider your index finger has almost been like a little capo that's on here, the third fret, and then you're just playing that A minor shape on top of it. And what's great about this chord shape is you can move it up and down the neck to get different chords. So down here, we had A minor. If I move that up one fret, I have A sharp minor, or B flat minor. If I move it up again, I have B minor, C minor. Then I could keep going up, I could get D minor up here at the fifth fret. I could get E minor, the seventh fret and so on. So you can see suddenly how just with that one shape you can suddenly play every single minor chord. But as we mentioned before, it's really tricky to play this chord. So this is where partial bar chords come into play and this is the alternative that I want to show you today. So let's go back to that C minor bar chord shape and if we were to forget about this fifth string for a second, all we would need to do is just add our index finger on the third fret of the first string here. And then if we just played the four highest strings, we'd have a C minor chord. And do you know what? It sounds really close to that full bar chord shape. And it's perfectly acceptable to use this partial bar chord shape in place of it. And in fact, you can move it up Again, you know, you could get a D minor chord here, or an E minor chord, or you can move it down and get a B minor chord as well. So you can see suddenly, without having to use a bar chord, you've actually got all the same benefits. You know, you can move it up and down the neck, and you can start to be able to play chords like C sharp minor that you just wouldn't be able to play otherwise. And this doesn't just apply to the A minor shape. It also applies to A major. So I could move that up. And usually you'd have to bar across here at the second fret. But actually, if I just forgot about this low fifth string, I could play it here as a partial bar chord. And suddenly you'll find that now you could, you've got all the major chords at your disposal. So you've got a D major here. An E major here 
And with that, you can now go out and play all the major minor chords on guitar. And you could also use this with E bar chord shapes and E minor bar chord shapes. And in my bar chord alternatives cheat sheet, I show you the easiest way to play every single major and minor chord. You can download it for free below. But I hope that today's lesson has really helped you out and got you to understand what partial bar chords are and how you can use them to play any major or minor chord that you want. As always, thank you so much for watching this lesson. I really hope that it's helped you out and I wish you the best of luck with the rest of your guitar playing. I'll see you next time.